Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new project. My name is Mo, I'm a German graffiti artist and in this video I will lead you through the whole process of painting a nice canvas because in April already I got an email of the customer Tim and he asked me if it would be possible to paint a custom canvas for him and everything that he wants is a really great 3D graffiti style and a character. And that's everything. But the problem is that he also uh, asked Edmund. If you don't know this guy, I will show you some of his videos right now. Please consider subscribing to his channel because he is the 3D god on uh, YouTube, I would say. And I really have to work on my 3D because I don't want to look like a toy besides this guy because he will paint in the same color scheme like I will paint and both artworks will hang together on a wall at the customer. And to put a little bit more pressure on me, Edmund already started to paint last week and he posted a preview of his canvas today. <laughs> Look what he did. This is so three-dimensional, man. Hopefully I will not suck. I'm a little bit afraid. Let's build the frame now. I decided that I will use only roof battens for the frame because the frame will stay in Germany anyways. I will only send the canvas fabric as a roll to Canada. After two hours of sketching, I decided that I will um, first of all make a black and white sketch with acrylic colors so that I get a whole feeling about this canvas, about the composition and everything. And uh, after that I will start with the painting in, in the colors and it will be a mixture of spray paint for the big spaces and uh, acrylic colors. <laughs> yeah, and I will um, now sketch everything in black and white and after that I will give you a little update. <laughs> this is the perfect moment to give a big thanks to my patrons who support me every month and who have seen this video one week earlier than you on YouTube. Thanks a lot, my patrons. Okay, friends and followers, I am happy with the sketch. Like you can see, this old um, alchemist guy, we have some trees in the background, some snows and some mountains and all this stuff. And now I will do something crazy. I will give the whole painting an underpainting so that I can paint over it with the acrylic colors because uh, otherwise I will always have to take care that there are not any white spots um, still visible. And I don't, I don't like it when there are still white spots visible. So I will give the whole painting a, a yellow underpainting now. And uh, then the whole canvas will have a whole night for losing its smell so that I can paint here tomorrow in the morning without any smell and I'm happy. The next day! And um, at first, the first thing that I want to do is I want to uh, take care of the sky, make it a little bit um, yeah, more look like a sky in general with uh, some, some clouds and some trees. I don't want to go with so many trees like Edmund did because I in person, I don't like trees that much. And if I manage this today and maybe a little bit of the stones and maybe a little bit of the, the S, this is enough for one day. We still have four days of painting to be in the schedule. Maybe it will be five days or six, doesn't matter. At the end, the most important thing is that the artwork will look great. Ah, clean. I'm not a very structured painter, to be honest. I just paint 
like I think the canvas needs some colors and not uh, it's not planned it's all freestyle Painting is for me some kind of a communication between me and the canvas. Like the canvas is always talking to me and telling me if it needs still some more color, some more details somewhere. And it also tells me when I've done too much and I need to remove something, like I've painted too much. It is just like you can't make any mistakes, you can only stop too early. Yeah, I know that you already noticed that I uh, have a slider now uh, because of this beautiful slider shots. Um, I'm super thankful, great video maker has sponsored this nice slider for my YouTube channel because they thought my videos could get a little bit of improvement and they know that I have absolutely no idea about videography. If you would li like to get such a slider as well, uh, I will put all the links in the video description about my cool new camera equipment and um, yeah, back to the video. Yeah, let's continue tomorrow and see what kind of details we still can apply to this beauty. <laughs> the last thing that I did was the snow over here. I think I will work on it a little bit. Um, but looks already super dope. And the snow style is already pretty three-dimensional in my opinion. Tomorrow we will make the character! <laughs> so I decided that I don't want to use any more colors than light ochre, raw sienna, <laughs> this sounds so professional, <laughs> raw sienna, turquoise, uh, black and cadmium yellow and white. And um, yeah, these are the one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five colors and white and black and this will be the, the this will be the whole palette for the whole painting I don't want to use any extra colors and I will use this palette for the whole character and uh, yeah let's start painting him Okay, this is the character there behind me, but so funny, Edmund recently just sent me this picture. I will show it to you. Can you see it? <laughs> this is so funny, he's working on the canvas right at this moment too. Yeah, but he looks cooler than me. I already like the 3D. Okay, I continue. Just wanted to give you this funny little update. <laughs> so cool. I really don't know if this will look good at the end. Artists problems. Painting an artwork is always a fight, in my opinion. It's always a fight with yourself. A fight between what your hand is doing, what your brain wants and um, expectations and stuff. Yeah. Okay, today I want to finish the character, paint the mountain and I want to add some clouds. And if I manage to do this, I'm super happy. It's some kind, some, sometimes I compare painting with climbing mountains. Um, you want the, the climbing part is super hard and sometimes even annoying but uh, you get your reward when you're on top of the mountain and you have this great view and it's like I 
I need this challenge and at the end when I'm done <laughs> I can I can enjoy the view of it some some kind of maybe if this makes sense yeah there's still a lot of things to do day six of painting and I took this whole morning to think a little bit about what will I do with this whole painting because now it gets interesting because there's always the time when you already know that it is pretty much done and you are uh, in danger to overstyle the artwork and so um, I took my iPad Pro and I did the last adjustments on my iPad in Procreate. I added some tiny deta details uh, just to check if it will look good or if it will be too much for the artwork. And I will just apply these tiny details after that. I, I think that I'm done and I'm so curious, <laughs> I'm so curious what Edmund has done. Let's paint the final details and after that I will show you the final result. <laughs> Yo, we are done. We are done. Um, a big thanks to Montana Cans for supporting me with super dope free spray cans and a big thanks to Lucas as well for supporting me with super nice acrylic colors. Yeah, this is crazy. It's so crazy. Like a dream came true. A dream came true. Just, yeah, just five years ago when I started this YouTube stuff, it was, it was a dream for me to be able to paint whatever I want and to sell the artworks and even get the materials for free. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's insane. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot for your support out there because um, without you, probably I would still be the local graffiti artist who paints electricity boxes and garage doors and kids rooms and um, yeah. Now I will show you the final result. This artwork is a surrealistic composition of symbols and lots of hidden secrets. Besides a graffiti on the graffiti, with some greetings to Tim and Edmund, there was one tiny detail that made me think this artwork should get the name Treasure. It's this single stroke that my daughter Elisa made on the ground on the right side besides this mountain. My artworks on canvas do not have one single meaning. In my opinion, art should give you hints so that you can tell the story with your own fantasy. One might be afraid of the snake or the skull. Someone else might notice that the alchemist never listens. And maybe someone of you wants to get one of the 30 prints of this artwork <laughs> to stare at it for an even longer time. So please check out my shop. Okay, friends and followers. Now it's packaging time. I need to put this beauty off the frame. 
and roll it. To roll this artwork is so much better than uh, sending it like this because otherwise I would have to build a big box for it. Now I can take some of these uh, pipes over here and seal it so it is even waterproof because these are water pipes. <laughs> yeah, let's roll it and send it to Canada. Oh, wonderful! And voiceover smoke gets some footage from Edmund right at this moment because he finished his canvas as well. <laughs> wow! Wow! Incredible! So much detail! I made a mock-up for you because you want to see how do they look in the living room from Tim. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, super great. And finally my canvas is safely packed and ready to fly over to Canada. And I'm really looking forward to get some real photos from Tim how they look together on his wall. Thanks a lot, Tim, for making this great project happen. I hope that you are a little bit entertained. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button and we see us in the next project. <laughs>